That was pretty intense, from my point of view. <laughs> so yeah, what do we have? Oh, now this is nice. I can drop this and get a torch. It only does two damage, but it can cause incineration. And this would have been useful in the unmodded game, but since... Because according to the lore, witchers should be able to... And, see in the dark, and we have one of these. Take all. Where's the dagger? So, yeah, there's the torch. It's nice to be able to see all of your weapons on your character. Anyways. Oh, oil. Very good. I can make more. Necrophage oil. And save. <laughs> the game crashes now. And we can go and sell this jaw that we have on our hook to the hunter. King of the Crypt. So how... by the way... So yeah, it's roughly 24 hours that it takes for it to dissipate. Oh, that's the fast style. Take it strong, put it back. Oh, that w that was good. That went pretty well. Pretty well. So I'm thinking today... Oh, well, let's see. Take the other one, so not this one. So yeah. Today, because previously I've been... The previous sessions were so long that I got really tired towards the end. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to... Talk to Harin first and then just save the game. And that's it. Last session was three hours long. That was really <laughs> terrible. I mean, the game is fun, but um, playing for three hours straight without getting up is kind of intense. And I haven't da done that in a long while, so... It really got to me. I <sighs> don't want to try that again. So, yeah. Right. Hello. Greetings. I killed the beast from the crypt. I killed the beast from the crypt. What the? Unlike any ghoul I've seen. Here, 200 orins. And that's it for this chapter. No more special monsters. Take care. I think... That there's two special monsters per chapter. Basically. Okay, and we have the red meteorite. Now we just need one more and we have ourselves a sword. Assuming we have the money, so I think we should start, um, well, basically farming again. <laughs> because they're like, what was it, 1,000 orange per sword? So, what we'll do is we'll store the meteorite here. And the ring. And these. Is there anything else? Not really. I still don't know who this is referring to, but I guess I could 
ask it anyways. I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? Okay. Got, Got a room? room? Yes. For you, five orans. Or I could sleep outside. <laughs> That's another option. I'll pass. I think that's a better option. We need all the gold we can get. You know, it would be really frustrating if we found enough meteorite stones and then because of those five warrants we didn't have enough <laughs> for the sword. So, till I think this is when the monsters start appearing. So, yep, dangerous. Safe. Place the candle. It's close by. So. We're running really quickly now, for some reason. Hmm. Okay, let's kill us a few bar guests. What the, the? That's annoying. There's nothing on him either. If he disappears... So yeah, I'm now only getting 50 experience per Bargus. Not much. Oh, come on! What is this? Well, this should make them spawn. Lighting the fires did not drive the Bargists away. <laughs> yeah. In the unmodded game, again, whenever you placed a candle in the sh one of the shrines, it would spawn <laughs> Bargists, so it would actually attract them. Uh, yeah. But let's take a walk around the village and, uh, well, actually, no, let's head to Harns, because I think he pays us as well, so we should... Hello. So yeah, the reason I'm, I'm, I've made so much Spectre Oil is because of Barghests, basically. <laughs> and in case I need them, need it against 
And currently it isn't that bad, but in the future, you know, things might get rowdy. And where is it? Oh, there. Remains? Hello. Didn't despawn, which is nice because I want your blood. Fireplace, helipore, barbecue. So Haran lives here. Still no drowners. Hmm. Save. Whew. So Haran lives here, I think. One of these houses. I think it was this one. Here. No. That one. Yeah. That's the one. Though I might try and see what's inside the other ones as well. Just out of interest. Yeah. This is his. Against non humans. It was then that the elven wise men called the sages gathered in the dungeons beneath Reinhold Castle. The eldest of them said, The day and the hour have come. We are here to discuss the fall of humans. We will aven avenge the death of Lara Doren. We will shed their blood and drown the world in chaos. We will hide in the forests for five hundred years while the chosen live in the human cities and become their neighbors. Everyone knows their place in the plan. Whether elf, dwarf, gnome, sorcerer, or Nifgardian, whoever betrays us is doomed. We will call ourselves superiors, because we have no lords over us and we spit on gods. Then all swore an oath and each drank the blood of an innocent child from a golden chalice to seal their obedience to the plan. <sighs> Against non-humans? I'm guessing this is just propaganda, basically. Elves and dwarves and gnomes. I guess I shouldn't read on them. Yeah, magic creatures. I read these last time. So dwarves are shorter than humans, but tougher and more muscular. Yeah, dwarves are one of the elder races. They were once a dominant race, along with the elves, but now their sole enclave is Mahakam, a mountain city rich in metal and mineral deposits. Of all the elder races, the dwarves have assimilated best, and many now live in human cities. They run businesses and are often wealthy, although they meet with, meet with disdain and distrust. During the war, war with Nilfgaard, dwarves made a name for themselves as mercenaries, although many of them also fought in Skoyatel commando units against the northern kingdoms. Yeah. Elves? After gnomes, elves are the eldest race on the continent. They created a magnificent civilization, and the greatest human cities, like Vizima and Oxenford, are were built upon elven ruins. Thing to keep in mind. Elves also have a special affinity for magic, although their magic is different from that of humans. Elves are long-lived, and yet 
the reproductive period of their lives ends quite early, and moreover, they reproduce much more slowly than humans. This is why they were defeated, the reason why they lost their preeminence in the world. Today only two enclaves of the race remain, the Blue Mountains, where the elves suffer priva privation and are dying out, and Doblathana, the Valley of the Flowers, which is ruled by the sorceress Enid and Gleana. The Valley of the Flowers is a dependency of Nilfgaard. Hmm. Gnomes are secretive and mysterious. Most of them live in Mahakam and are allied with the dwarves. They seldom interact with humans. Gnomes are talented craftsmen, miners and inventors. Their technology is superior to that of humans, and gnome weapons can be equaled by no others. They are also considered the eldest race on the continent. Hmm. Okay, good to know. Save, because we've read those. And... what's in here? Nine points of endurance... Nine points, yeah, it's the same. So this is Harren. Hello. G -g Greetings to the honorable gentleman. You are? Harren Brog, merchant and middleman, at your service. What brings you here, w Witcher? What do you have to offer? The re reverend sent you, I presume? This is another thing. He did not used to stutter in the original game. It was added in the Enhanced Edition patch. The whole new dialogue thing. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, why don't I b believe you? I have a ring. The Eternal f -f Fire, a gift from the Reverend, I presume. Yeah. And we can play poker with him. Sultan mentioned him, so. Yeah. Uh, the Reverend sent me. He thinks you need a Witcher. The Reverend sent me. He thinks you need a Witcher. I do. The d -d dead emerge from the river at the night. A ghastly cold blows from the water, making my flesh crawl. Help me. I'll s spare no exp expense. Only 100. Well, that's not nearly enough. But I suppose Odo... Well, yeah. Um, I'll help him. Yeah. I'll help in exchange for information about Salamandra, and throw in 100 orans for my expenses. I heard you were looking for s Salamandra, but if so, you're looking for trouble. It's no m matter to me. You, you have a deal. These d damned undead are my concern. They scare customers off and d d destroy my crates. And this is a valuable shipment for a special client. Okay, so where are they? Where would I find these drowners? W where? At the river's edge. They creep out of the water after dusk. I see. Witcher! So we can buy stuff from him as well. Let's see what he what has. Do you sell? Anything, r really, but in these hard times, I have a rather l l limited selection. Show me. The c c customer's always right. Oh. So he has a blue meteorite. But if we buy this, <laughs> there's no way we're going to be able to afford the... sword. So we'll hold off for now. And... Oh, there's all of these. Twelve? Quite a bit of damage. It's only just five. Chance of dislodging shield. Ten damage, five damage. Hmm. Interesting. 10, 10, 40. Yeah, I might want to sell this at some point. But not this. <laughs> okay. So, drowners. Let's go get him. Can I? Yeah, there they are. Boom, come get me. Is 
this affecting them? Okay, move. Maybe I should heal up. <sighs> I'm drinking a lot of potions. on the move. One down. Three to go. More? Come on. Okay, this is going to be a long fight. Sorry. I can't really help it. I don't have anything that damages them. Not really. So... About to get off insurance. Boom. One down. Well, that's two. Kite again. <laughs> as boring and frustrating as it is. Jump over him. Three to go.
Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to separate them, but it's not working. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, come on. Die. Or don't. Two more. one way of separating them. And now it's just him. And we are done. Yes. Save. Do not want to do that fight again. Oh, come on. Oh, hello. Kedmil Havkarin. Greetings. I don't speak your language. Mendwan, Esavatgan. You'll not intimidate us, Witcher. Where's Haran Brog? He promised us some Hawker's specialties. I'm not sure I like your tone. Haran didn't mention you. I was hunting drowners. Vart tell Nain. You're no Ensaid, but you're not Dwan Filth either. We'll just take our weapons, and let's part in peace. The goods are Haran's. Sorry, Ensaid, but I can't let you touch those crates. Listen carefully, Vat girl. We're part of a 20 elf unit. Our brothers suffer from disease and hunger. These crates contain food, medicine, and weapons. We want them now, for we can't approach the Zima's walls every day. I guess I see your point. Good. We have no choice. But you do. Okay, so... I'm not going to help them. Because I don't think that violence is the best way to get your way in the world, you know, so, I mean, avoid fighting whenever possible. 
and I guess they'll attack me, but um, you know, I have a deal with Harin. So, yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'm working for Harren. You'll have to find your hawker's specialties elsewhere. Willing to die for that greedy Dwan? You're not one of them. Yeah, no, sorry. Doesn't matter. Don't touch those crates. We'll slay you and then Harren. As a lesson to all traitors. Spalle! <laughs> Oh, they're not very tough at all. So that's the quest done. To heading an iron dagger. So basically, they had nothing. Well, gold. Rains. Alright, let's get back to iron. Finish the quest. He's up here. Wake up. Witcher! I killed the drowners and encountered elves. I killed the drowners and encountered elves. Uh, uh, elves? I don't believe I know any uh, elves. They were expecting you. Who are they? Skoyatel. Squirrels. Young non-humans. Freedom fighters. Those who did deal with them are hanged. But betray me and you'll hang too. Oh. I'll keep quiet. If it's dangerous, why do you trade with them? I have to make a l l living somehow. Either way, I did my job. My crates are s safe, then? I underestimated you, Witcher. Hmm. Incidentally, what ha happened to the elves? We had a disagreement. They're dead. You c killed them? Huh. Their friends are likely to return for the g goods. When they arrive, we can blame it on the d drowners. No business of mine. I want my payment. Then you can yep. tell me about Salamandra. Here's your gold. S Salamandra collect tribute from the villagers. Disobey, and they s slit your throat, set your house ablaze. Where can I find them? Ask the re reverend. He'll decide what you should know. But I wouldn't mind them gone. Hmm. Oh yeah, so we can ask him about... <laughs> I hope... I hope he wasn't the door we killed. But anyways. My friend seeks a dwarf. Who? A Squirtel. I'll ask around. M maybe I'll learn something. Hmm.